china displayed in a big china cabinet that you're not using? Well, this blog this week is for you. I had the unique opportunity of teaching one of my declutter classes, a six week um, class at a senior residence place that a bunch of seniors lived in. Most of them were in their late 70s, 80s, 90s and beyond. And a whole lot of them had china in china cabinets that they were not using. This place supplied the meals and they all ate, most of them ate down in the big dining room on the ground floor. They no longer entertained. When there was big occasions, they usually went to their kid's house or out to a restaurant. They weren't into cooking, but they were afraid to get rid of China. What is this? Did you realize that China has little value now? No one wants it anymore. Not even your kids. You may be thinking, oh, they're, you know, I'm, I, when I die, they'll, they'll get some value out of it. Why burden this? Why burden them with your China? This is your job to get rid of your China. And sure, you paid a lot of money for it, or you got it from people that paid money for it. Maybe you got it as a gift registry at your wedding. But the, the times have changed. Fancy dishes are no longer the in thing now, <laughs> like they were back when we were newlyweds. I was going to the college. I was going to college. I had no desire for fancy dishes <laughs> and neither did my husband and we still don't. And I'm so glad we don't have a big china hutch in this smaller place now that we have um, downsized to. I'm so glad we don't have China to burden us and figure out what to do with it. <laughs> so think about it. Think about your China. Think about why you're keeping it. Maybe you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, then start using it. <laughs> then it won't be clutter. But if you aren't using it and your relatives don't want to use it, then it is clutter and it's time to free up your living space or your storage space of these fancy dishes. Bye for now. Here's the blog reading from my computer screen. Clutter, fancy dishes on display. Newsflash. If you have China, it isn't worth much now. These dishes aren't the status symbol they once were. Most people rarely use them and your children probably don't want them unless you are making them feel guilty for not wanting them. This is what Don Aslett, author of Clutter's Last Stand has to say. The, uh, to accumulate that one special set of china is a lifetime dream for many. When they finally get it all, there's no way they'll risk breaking, scratching, or losing any of it. So the nightmare china closet is secured, and therein is the treasure. Who in their right mind would take all this space, time, trouble, and insurance money to display a bunch of dishes? Think about it. So people can gaze and say, oh, your saucer is so captivating. Is it Haviland or Royal Dulton? Most China is used once or twice a year, and it takes ton of energy to keep up. So ask yourself, if you are not using your fancy dishes anymore and none of your relatives want them, isn't it time to get them out of your living space or storage space? Why burden your children with this task after you die? There you go, my blog.